headed to Davie, Florida, which is kind of in the Fort Lauderdale-ish area. I'm going to be attending the Fort Lauderdale Dog Club two-day, three-show cluster. Oh, shit, I need to do my nails. This weekend, I get to hang out with one of the most important people in my life, Jessica Satellante. We may have met in the dog show world, but she is so much more than that to me. She is my soul sister. Hey, Boo. Hi, Boo. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Getting ready to show the dogs in this heat. Love it, love it. Long hair dogs in the heat. Jessica used to breed Pomeranians way back when, but opted to get out of breeding and went on to handling for a couple of clients. Okay, go ahead. Okay, this is Sergey. He okay. owns most of these dogs. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hey. And his wife, Natalia. And Natalia, yeah. absolutely. They're a big they're... Hello from uh, Vittorio Rossi Pomeranian. Yay. Yay. When I grow up, I want to be Jessica Satellante because she is like the coolest person on the planet. She shows Pomeranians. She's a cop. She's beautiful, kind-hearted, and she's my boo, my best friend in the whole wide world. I gotta go X-Pen them. Ooh. Jessica's daughter, Emma, comes to many of the shows with us. She is a huge fan of my chihuahuas, as well as her mom's Pomeranians, but my chihuahuas. When you get older and can drive, will you drive me to dog shows? Yeah. I'll pay you. 20 bucks. 20 bucks? That's it? 20 bucks. Okay. What happens if I want to go to like Kentucky or something? Will you still drive me for 20 bucks? 40 bucks. Oh, very smart. You're a smart girl. Double. If, it's double if I have to drive to another state. You know what? You are one very smart chick. Your mama did you right. A lot of times when she has multiple class dogs or class entries, she needs my help to take the dogs back in, which by the way, I am the queen of taking dogs back in and usually making an ass of myself, but. This weekend, those skills were definitely in need because at both shows today, her class dog and her class bitch took winner's dog and winner's bitch. Yahoo! Foggle. I need real shoes. Real shoes. I need real shoes. Holy crap. <laughs> I got I lost a chicken in my boot. Awesome. Let's go. Let's go. We got this. not your full-time job. No, it feels like it though. <laughs> so your full-time do job is? A police officer at the Pont Inlet Police Department. I went Very back to work as a police officer. Cool. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, 20, just over 20 years at the Orlando Police Department, which I'm sorry, it will always be my home. Yeah. Now I went back to work as a Pont Inlet Police Department in Volusia County. We do more turtle rescues than anything else. But you look really good in your uniform. I do look good. You do look good in your uniform. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been showing Pomeranians? 29 Holy crap years. balls. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm old. <laughs> I'm old. You are not old. I'm old. God. Grooming technique for Pomeranians. Oh, let's see. It's pretty simple, easy, but... Um, there's a certain product that one of my competitors slash friends has created and it's supposed to be a moisturizer conditioner that right. you wash the dog with and then you wash it off bringing it with me to the shows right. and just like putting on places that I want to smooth down because I'm okay. So with a Pomeranian's tail because it's got that big band, right. take a little chunk of it, rub it in my hands, put it all on the tail and it 
adds weight to the tail so it lays make it over. stay there. So when you've got wind, it doesn't flap up, and then it dries nice. immediately, and then I just touch it with spray. And then if I want to touch up, I just spray water and just touch it up again. And so it's just one of my yeah. easiest but favorite, and because everyone's always like, how do you get your tail to lay that? So that's your secret. So now the whole world knows. Yeah. But they don't know what the product is. Oh, we'll keep that in mind. <laughs> he knows if he watches yeah. this. He knows what it is. He knows. Plug for somebody, Starfire Pomeranians, Tony Cabrera. To sit and watch Jess and I talk about our past adventures is like watching two high school girls giggle over a cute boy. <laughs> Just like any true, amazing friendship, we have secrets that really aren't all that, but to us, they are everything. Our trip to the shows in Biloxi, where we literally drove in the middle of a hurricane with I-10 shut down. We were bound and determined to make it to those shows. Nothing was going to stop us. Of course, she did end up getting the flu and we ended up having to go to the emergency clinic and she had to get a shot in her ass. But you know what? The hurricane didn't stop us. Secret codes and private jokes that nobody else would ever understand. But that's what true best friends have. That's that's what you have with a true best friend. <laughs> we had a we had a name for us for Oh, what was the, it? Um, oh, what was it? Crazy ass horse. Yeah, or Orlando. Orlando crazy ass bitches. Crazy ass bitches. The OCB. Scary. That is scary. Yeah. Yeah. That, that name died quickly, but it's still true. It's, it's true. Just, we haven't used it lately. Right. That's all. That's right. all. That's very true. <laughs> um, yeah. I couldn't imagine my dog show life or my private life without Jess.